All right, let's take a look at the following question here. We've got a x cubed plus a minus b x cubed minus b. So now if you want to factor this up here, look at this problem here. Uh, when you're going through this, you want to take a look at, um, can I go through my standard ideas? So do you have difference of squares? No. Do I have a common factor throughout the expression? Like, do I have something I can factor out of the whole thing? No. Is there a simple trinomial? Nothing like that. I do see an x cubed here. If that makes you think about difference of cubes or sum of cubes formula may be able to apply. So, and I do see an A here and an A here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try factor by grouping and see if this works. So I'm gonna take an A out of the first two terms, uh, leave me with X, plus, X cubed plus one inside. And here I'm gonna factor out a negative B out of the first uh, two terms of this, and this is gonna give me X cubed plus one as well. As soon as you do that, you make the obje observation that uh, I do have a common factor of x cubed plus 1 in both of these. So that can be factored out of the whole expression, giving me x cubed plus 1, and then leave me with a minus b inside here. So now that I've done that, I now have myself the sum of cubes formula here. I can rewrite this as x cubed plus 1 cubed times a minus b. And then I go ahead and use my sum of cubes formula. This becomes x plus 1, uh, x squared minus x plus 1 times a minus b, and now we are fully factored.